Hi, Brent Abel here, webtennis.net, and today we're going to work on a little single strategy play where you know, normally we seem to challenge when we're back in the baseline, both, both you and your opponent are back in the baseline. Typically what we do is we try to challenge them, challenge them what we call horizontally from side to side. We try to create space by hitting the ball to one of the two corners. And today what I want to work on is a little single strategy where you can change that up and play at what I call is more of a vertical challenge. And, and what I mean by that is you're in a baseline rally and you're going to change it by playing a drop shot and then once you get to your opponent's shot after that drop shot, you're going to play a lob over their, their backhand. And there's sort of one of three things that can happen after you play that lob. Number one, either the ball can come up short, your lob can be short, where now you want to maintain your position on the baseline. Or number two, you play your lob in such a way that your opponent does go back and they end up playing sort of a high backhand volley. In that case, I do want you to sort of move in a little bit and look for a ball that you might be able to volley quickly or be able to play a half volley and play to the open court. Well, the third thing is where you lob over their backhand. It's a good lob. It's nice and deep. And they don't play. They go back and are probably most likely to play a lob back to you, in which case you're to get prepared to play an overhead. All right? So let's kind of play this out a couple times and see how this works. And my and I are going to be in a baseline rally here. And at some point, I'm going to go ahead and play a little drop shot. And there it is. I play the dropper. She comes in. It's too good. But play it over her backhand. And it's a winner. Okay? Maybe that was a fourth thing. You play such a great lob that you can't get to it. All right, let's try this again, all right? Again, you're in a baseline rally. Maybe you've moved your opponent around a little bit from side to side, played it up the middle. And then at some point, you play your drop shot. You get ready to play it. You lob over her backhand. And again, it's a great lob. What's going on here? You're making me look good, honey. All right, let's try this again, all right? Here we go. We're into a baseline rally during the point, and I'm going to go ahead and play a little dropper. Oh, she is there. She. Well, that's the fifth thing. It's the lead cord lucky winner. All right, so you're in your baseline rally, and you know you might play a ball cross court, let's say, where you open up some space. You know, now you go side. You're going to play a little a little drop shot. She comes in, and you're going to. Play it over the backhand, and now you got the opening. So there's a situation where your lob is it's not really short. It's deep enough to where it's an awkward shot for your opponent, and that's really what you're trying to create. You're trying to create that very difficult shot in tennis, that high backhand volley, which you know the chances are they're not going to do much with it. Once you recognize that, once you kind of play your lob and you evaluate. Is it going to be really short, where if that's the case you want to maintain your position here in the baseline? Is it going to be something where you back them up and they actually, in my case, she has to play a two-hander up here? You know, you know it's not going to be a real strong shot coming in. In that case, you want to anticipate something short and move on in. And wherever she plays it, then go ahead and play your next shot to the open court. Or let's try this again now where maybe we can get it to where we lob it so well we lob it so well that it goes over her and she goes back to play a lob to us and now we're ready for the overhead. We don't need the overhead there because she tried to hit a winner by us. Normally they're going to play you know, a lob on that. So anyway, I hope this has helped. Next week we're going to work on how do you defend against that time when you're up at net and your opponent plays a lob over your high backhand volley. How do you play that shot? All right? Hope this has helped. Any questions, Brent at webtennis.net. Thanks very much.